We conducted a study to explore how students use and interpret mechanistic language of organic chemistry for reactions they haven't learned yet. At U Ottawa, the organic chemistry curriculum is organized by governing pattern of mechanism rather than by functional group. Before learning specific reactions, students are explicitly taught the language of mechanisms. Our research questions focused on how students worked through symbolism questions and the meaning they attributed to them. We conducted 29 semi-structured interviews with students after they had received instruction on mechanisms, but before they had learned specific reactions. During the interviews, students were asked to work through symbolism questions to explain a complete mechanism, to draw arrows given reactants and products, and to draw products given the reactants and electron pushing arrows. Our analysis revealed four main categories having to do with stepwise mechanisms, mapping, charges, and chemistry reasoning. How students talked about electron movement throughout the task contributed to how they responded to the questions. Students frequently talked about electron movement as they worked through the task. For example, even though Mila didn't draw the correct arrows, she started the arrows at electron pairs or bonds and pointed them to atoms or bonds, demonstrating her attention to electron movement. Some students drew stepwise mechanisms, explaining that both charges needed to be explicit before they could be neutralized. This finding prompted new questions such as, is this a problem solving strategy or is this how students think the reaction actually progresses? Students' approach to mapping affected how they worked through the problems. Students like Rachel, who chose to consider electrons at the beginning of the task, demonstrated an interpretation of the symbolism, rather than interpreting the structure only at face value, looking at surface similarities between the structures, like Adele. Students gave reasonable definitions of positive and negative charges. Some students used charges as cues to know where electrons were going and leaving from in a reaction, but many students emphasized charge exclusively over electron movement. For some, charge was used as a marker for reactivity, and for others, charge was something that needed to be neutralized. Students attempted to integrate their prior chemistry knowledge while they worked through the problems, showing a desire to make sense of their prior knowledge in new situations, such as Connor's incorporation of resonance and Neva's use of electronegativity to explain their responses. Our findings show that students are thinking about how to draw arrows and products based on the knowledge they have and not just using electron pushing formalism mechanically. Instructors can lead class discussions to hear how students use terms and talk about the meaning of arrows and talk about the limitations of the symbols. As students continue the meaning-making process, there needs to be a continual assessment of their use and interpretation of the electron pushing formalism. An example of this could be to ask students to write a complete sentence to explain the meaning of the curved arrows in a particular mechanistic step. Also, students need to be assessed on mapping atoms and electrons from reactant to product to convey the importance of the strategy. Research is ongoing for why students drew the stepwise mechanism and how students' ideas may change through a semester. Lastly, continual discussion and assessment of the electron-pushing formalism gives students opportunities to learn and improve their skills.